Communism is a foreign threat now, not domestic. Mr. Kennedy, before you were even born, I heard that very same argument from a Mr. Mitchell Palmer. Do you know what it took to change his mind? A bomb. Now, I, I do not want that to happen to you or your brother, sir. There's no reason we, we, we both can't get what we want. We can wage a war on two fronts, sir. That's a clip from a movie getting some Oscar buzz, J. Edgar, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Our movie guy Aaron Lafferty is here with a preview of that movie and the other movies coming out this weekend. And you know, it's interesting because it's Veterans Day today, the release of this movie, and you think about the kind of the, the time historically we were in, right. and now seeing some of that come to life. I mean, that's what's fun about this movie is it's a historical, you know, you get to learn some history if you weren't alive then, or if you're not familiar with that time, you know, J. Edgar, basically revolutionized the way the United States fought crime or investigated crime. You know, he, he kind of rethought a lot of things like fingerprints. Forensics. Forensics, all, all those kinds of things were kind of his baby that, you know, at the time they were shunned. They were like, oh, I use fingerprints, what does that mean, you know? Mm -hmm. Things that today are like, you know, DNA, fingerprints, mm -hmm. forensics are all just kind of commonplace. Which a lot of shows are based on. Right, it's, yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio plays his character the decades that he was with the FBI, from the beginning when he first joins the Bureau till when he was the head of the Bureau. Obviously, you know, if you know his story a little bit, you know that he had a, some secrets of his own. As much right. as he investigated secrets mm -hmm. and kept secrets, he kept secrets from the public. So this investigates that kind of, uh, you know, the relationship he had with his number two guy, played by Army Hammer from The Social Network. Um, you know, behind the scenes there were some things going on. His mom is played by Dame Judi Dench. So it's a really good cast. Clint Eastwood directed this. You know, the it's, it's getting pretty good, good talk, more for Leonardo DiCaprio and Clint Eastwood than maybe the film as an entire Mm. picture for Oscar. And is this the first one this year that you're saying this could have Oscar buzz associated with it? No, I, th I think we've got a couple we others. We've got some animated ones. Yeah, we've got some animated ones, you know, Mon Moneyball and 50-50 and, yeah. and, and The Help might get some mm -hmm. attention too, but this, this one may get uh, Best Picture, depending on how many Best Pictures we have. This rated R? This is rated R, yeah, okay. and, it's a, and it's a little longer than two hours. So. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and one that will absolutely not generate any Oscar buzz is Jack and Jill. <laughs> This looks Absolutely. hilarious. This might be yeah. the worst movie yeah. of the year. The, the worst movie of the year really? that, that, that I've seen. That I've, obviously, there's there's so many movies out there that you can't see them all. But the worst movie that I've seen this year, Jack and Jill, Adam Sandler. Here's the premise. He plays the twins. He's the, the boy twin and the girl twin, Jack and Jill. Um, the boy, Jack, is, is successful. Everybody likes him. He's got a family. Jill is kind of obnoxious and, and uh, needy and... And all those things, and, and uh, it doesn't have a family. She, you know, she comes over for Thanksgiving. There's, there's so many holes in this movie. It's, it's hard. You don't necessarily know who everybody's name is. You don't know who everybody is. What the relationships are. Um, only knowing from reading the premise on IMDb did I know that she comes over every Thanksgiving. This wasn't ever established that oh, she comes okay. every Thanksgiving and she's a bummer. And oh, I, I, you know, sometimes you have that family dread of somebody coming over that you don't get along with. They never really explore that. And, and there's so many problems. Adam Sandler is acting as Jill. Sometimes he slips in and out of this this voice that he has. The costume's weird. There's just there's a lot of problems. Plus, there's an ensemble cast. What, Katie Holmes, Al Pacino. Yeah, Al Pacino. Just Al Pacino is actually really good in the character that he plays, but the character is just weird. Just, wow. it just it's, And why it's, is he in this movie? Uh, <laughs> yeah, paycheck. That's Paid a lot right. of money yeah. right. by that right. one. I go, I go into a lot more depth on my, on my blog, on the okay. full review <laughs> there. So. Well, I guess I'm going to save my money yeah. and uh, not go to see that one. Right. It's, I'd, only I'd a hate, it's only an hour and 31 right. minutes I long. would hate for you to waste 90 minutes and 20 bucks. <laughs> okay. If you really want to see this movie, wait for it to come out on DVD. Santa, I'll save that for my secret Santa, I suppose. Okay. But there is another one out, also another drama. Right, this is a, kind of a Greek mythology-based kind of movie. We have uh, Theseus is uh, Henry Cavill, which we'll see later in the new Superman movie. So you get to see him in kind of this, you know, action star kind of before he's going to be Superman later uh, next year. Uh, it's basically, there's, there's a warlord that's taking over Greece and uh, Zeus appoints a mortal man to try to go up against him. So that's Theseus and that's his, his role. We get the Minotaur, we get a lot of, uh, you know, classic Greek kind of stuff, uh, Poseidon, so, whatever. So if you like 300, Gladiator, that Yeah, this is might be one of the producers place. of 300 did this movie. So, you, it's, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's also in 3D, so it'll make a little extra money this weekend. I'm um, not getting the best reviews, but certainly better than Jack and Jill. Okay, and you have two picks this week. One, 
to see in the theater and one to rent. Yeah, Matt, this is something we've, we've started doing. Uh, I always want to at least leave the viewers with two picks each week, right. one in the theaters and one at home. The one in the theaters is Contagion, which is perfect because we're in flu season now. <laughs> and if for no other reason, this movie will make you want to go out and get uh, hand, flu hand shot. sanitizer, <laughs> and your flu, flu shot, shot yeah. Basically, it's an airborne virus that <laughs> kind of becomes the epidemic. Think of the bird flu and how everybody kind of freaked out. Uh -huh. Think of that as a worldwide thing in the United States, mm -hmm. in Canada, uh -huh. in Mexico, everywhere. So the CDC enlists all these people to go out and figure out well, where did this come from? Why did it start? Trying to figure out where this all started and pin it down and figure it out. There's, there's a lot of people. That, the cast is awesome. The cast is huge. Good acting. It's not just this big epic scope. You also have the individual Matt Damon's family. Gwyneth Paltrow's his wife. She gets it. So you got all these little stories in, a, in the big story. So and pandemonium again, good, on an epic scale. Yes. Yeah, and again, a very good cast. Your rental yes. for the week. Uh, rental is Rear Window. Um, a classic, I'm going to go classic on you, Alfred Hitchcock, this is my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie. Basically, uh, Jimmy Stewart is a photographer who got an accident, so he has a broken leg. He has to sit in his apartment, and he kind of watches his neighbors, he's people watching, and he becomes convinced that he's seen a crime mm, while watching all of his neighbors. And then Grace Kelly, who's his girlfriend, she starts getting involved, his, uh, his other friends get involved. So uh, it's, just, it's, it's a fun story, you know, uh, Shia LaBeouf did a version of this called Disturbia a couple years ago. This is certainly a better version. And this Raymond Burr plays one the of the classic. neighbors in Trouble. Mm -hmm. so. All right, okay, and uh, we can read all about it? I laugh at the movies. Of course. Also, Harry, the last Harry Potter comes out today on DVD, too. Oh, so wow, a lot of great stuff going yeah. on. Well, good, nice to have you along today. Thank, Thank you. you. I like to follow you on Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> yep. reading the blog. Yes, happy Basically. Veterans Day to all the veterans.